everyone, it is Wednesday, so I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. This week's topic is Top 5 Cover Buys. So, books you bought solely for the cover, which I don't really buy books solely for the cover because I have to read the back or else, like, I just, I just need to make sure that I'd be interested in reading it in the first place. I'm not just gonna buy a book because the cover is pretty or something like that. Anyway. This isn't really in an order except like my number one. Like the cover is so pretty on that one. Mm -hmm. Alright, so number five is 93 by Victor Hugo. This, I got this when I was taking AP Art History. And so this is a painting. It is by Jacques Louis David um, from 1793. It's called The Death of Marat, and that's why I got this book, <laughs> because it had like an artwork as the cover. But it's also by Victor Hugo, so, I mean, his other works are like masterpieces and well-known, so it's not like this would be bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number four is A Tale of Two Cities and Great Expectations, it's like two in one, by Charles Dickens. So there's like the spine. I don't know, I just like the cream color and then like the foil look of the red. You can't really see the how it is reflective though. And I don't know, like this side has like leaves, and then this side has like roses. I haven't read Great Expectations though, I've only read A Tale of Two Cities. Yeah, I wish this wasn't here though. That'd be really nice if this was not here. Yeah. But, oh, I guess I'll show you the, the little flaps of that side. Talks about the tale of two cities, and then this size has great expectations. Mm -hmm. Number three is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I haven't read this one yet. And I don't know, it just looks creepy and weird, and I like it. <laughs> and I know there's a second one. Um, yeah. I want to get that one soon, though so that I can get it in hardcover to go with this one. And this one has like pictures inside. I just think it's cool. Creepy and weird. I like it. <laughs> Number two is Fifth Avenue, 5 a.m. It says, Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's and the Dawn of the Modern Woman. And I love Audrey Hepburn, and I love Breakfast at Tiffany's. It's like my third favorite book. I mean, movie. Oops, movie. Um, yeah. Like, I say it's my third favorite movie because I have, like, a first and second favorite, and then the rest are kind of all, like, jumbled. But I watch Breakfast at Tiffany's way too often. <laughs> like, it's my go-to movie. If I can't decide what movie to watch, or if I'm lazy but I want to watch a movie and I, I just don't want to take like a half hour to figure out what movie I'm going to watch. I'm like, okay, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't read this one yet. Did I already say that? I don't think so. But um, I've heard good things about it from a few people. Like, I was watching a video and someone's wife was reading this and she was really loving it. So, I know that I'm going to love it, too. Obviously, if, if it's about Audrey Hepburn and Breakfast at Tiffany's. And number one, this cover is... Oh my gosh, it's awesome. It's Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Look at it. I just love the watercolor look to it. And it's awesome. Oh, was I too close there? I don't... Maybe... Oh, cool. And then it has like the foil thing there for the her lantern. 
and it just has this like really gothic look to it I love it it says penguin classics deluxe edition uh, and I know what's the Ruben Toledo that is the artist or illustrator um, and he he's done other ones too so in this like I guess I'm gonna call it a series um, there's also Pride and Pre Prejudice um, Dracula the Scarlet Letter Wuthering Heights The Picture of Dorian Gray those ones I know for sure so like Ruben Toledo has done really cool watercolor looking illustrations for all of those I chose this one though at the store I, where did I get this? I got this at Borders before it closed and I was choosing between this one and Wuthering Heights and I chose this one because I liked the cover a little bit more but also I had like heard of this before and um, I got this when the remake came out or was coming out in theaters soon mm -hmm. yeah it just looks so cool so cool alright yep so those are my top five cover buys tell me what you think of those covers they're well I mean besides the last one it's all just kind of personal interest alright so thank you for watching and hmm have a terrific day I don't even know what I've said and what I haven't said I can't think of any more words well have a terrific day bye <laughs>